today? Very good. Are we waiting for anybody else? Or we can start? Good. Okay, guys. So you probably have one question in your hand, like what I'm doing here, why I'm here. Okay. Yes? Okay. So before I answer that question, how many of us already met? I see some places, I, I see some faces, I recognize some people here. Um, so we had a couple of presentations in Buyukai, or the Zorro Lyceum last year, and you were there, right? Yes. Okay. And I don't know if this guy was there, okay, you know, or a girl, and what was that? <laughs> Let's see the face. Okay. Um, all right. Um, but the presentation we're going to present today is kind of a new one. It's a brand new one. So today we're going to talk to you about four exchange programs. And you can apply for these programs basically only now in October or in the first week of November. Okay? So this is really like a short notice, which is cool, you know? I was thinking about this presentation and I was very, I was looking forward because usually we come and we say, oh, you know, there is this program or this university, but you need to uh, apply to this university like next year or in two years or in three years and you'll be like, oh, but this actually something you need to do right now, okay? So, how many of you know about Flex? Uh, I know. Yeah, lots of people. Great. How many of you know about another exchange program? H and C. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. How many of you know about uh, assist? A couple of people. Good. The guys who sit here, they know everything. And how many of you know Davis? Ooh. How do you know about this program? Did you apply? Have you already applied? Ooh, so I'm going to increase competition, guys. Sorry, only three people here know about Davis, so now everybody will know about this program. How do you know about these programs? What? Uh, I just found it on Facebook. On Facebook. Okay, great. So, guys, four exchange programs: Flex, HMC, David Assist, and you basically need to apply almost immediately because the deadlines are approaching. Okay. Uh, so which program we will talk first? First, let's talk about Flex. You know, everybody knows Flex. Flex has been around for years. They give a lot of scholarships every year. What do you guys know about Flex? Alexandra, what do you know about Flex? Well, it gets from Swedish year to US, and it's for one year, and it's great. Okay. And will you study in a public school or private school? I think it's a private school. It's, private school. Yeah. it's a public school. <laughs> So which means that it can be a good school or a bad school. Will you live in a boarding school, in a boarding house, or in a family? In a family, that's right. And is it a private program or a public program? In a way like, I mean, who is sponsoring the program? Who is paying the money? Yes. Yeah, the U.S. government, U.S. State Department, okay? So, which is good, you know? It's good, you're dealing with a sponsor which is very reliable. It's the government of the United States, whatever. Okay. Right. How many scholarships are given to you every year? To Moldovans? Approximately, you know? 50, well, very optimistic number, maybe like 30, 35, 40. But can you imagine this? Every year, 30 to 40 high school students from Moldova just go and study and spend one year in, 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 in the US. Isn't that cool? It's cool, right? Do you know any friends? Do you know any friends who went to the United States and spent their one year and came back? Yes. Yes. Was it a good experience or a bad experience? It was a great experience for them. Great. Yeah. Okay, usually it's a good experience. Okay. So guys, uh, in order to apply for a flex program, you just go to the website of American Councils in Moldova. Okay? And on their website, Actually, if I were you, I would write down a couple of things today. On their website, uh, there is this uh, registration form. And you need to complete it, okay? And it's really, really 
basic and straightforward. You need to give your name, your gender, where you live, how old are you, stuff like this, and just submit it. And then what happens next? What happens next after you submit this form? Sorry? Is it here? In here. So you submit this registration form. What happens next? <laughs> no idea. What about you? Huh? Okay, so what happens next? It's like interview, yes? Okay, so there are a lot of steps. You submit this form, they invite you for a test, and then they invite you to another test, and they invite you for an interview, and then just at some point, hopefully, you hear back from Washington and they say, Congratulations, Alexandra, you have been accepted. Okay? And you just go and spend one year in the United States. Okay, when do you need to apply? No. <laughs> I want I want everybody to understand this. When do you need to apply? <laughs> when do you need to apply? No. No. Okay. Because tomorrow it can be like too late. Okay? So all the people who will apply now these days, they will hear back from basically when if you are if your application is successful, if you pass all the tests, if they like you the interview. When will you go to the United States? You apply now, it's September, October, sorry, 2016. When will you go to the United States? Next year. Next year, which is what? It's January? No, it's September. 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 August. Yeah, next August, next academic year, in September 2017, okay? So really, you need to have, like, you need to think in advance and plan in advance, okay? Okay. You guys, any questions about flex? Anyone? Any questions about flex? No? Very good. If there are no questions about flex, then we can move forward to another presentation. So let's move forward to another presentation, uh, to another program. Okay, guys, uh, I wanted to show you some pictures, okay? Can I show you uh, some pictures of a school where I worked? Okay, you have very you have very fancy school in Arizona. Yeah, they're like building like a, a gym there outside or something for you. So you have a very fancy school, but let me show you the school where I worked. Okay, so um, I don't know if you can see if you can see it very well, but uh, the school where I work is in Edinburgh, in Scotland. Okay, and just let me show you the grounds. Mm. Okay, uh, so guys have a look, can you see this? So all this territory, all this land belongs to a school and you see this, uh, there are lots of buildings here, yeah? Here in this building students sleep, in this building they eat, here they study uh, economics, history, the gym. Here they run. Here is a stadium. Here they play football. Do you like to play football? Yeah. Very good. Okay. What is this? Can anybody see this? It's a court. Tennis courts. That's right. Tennis courts. Do you have tennis courts in your school? How many tennis courts do you have in your school? None. Zero. Okay. Um, do you know what this is? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, close, 
5 gold. So, those six fields there, can you see them? One, two, three, four, five, six. What is that? Yeah, those are cricket fields and rugby fields. Okay? And every class, every four in that school has their own field. Okay? So when they have sports, they basically go out and play in one of these fields. Okay? And this is not a public school, it is a private school. Very expensive private school. Do you know how much it costs them to study in this school? Something like 25,000 pounds per year. Which is a lot of money, okay? So, when I worked in this school, I was teaching economics. There was one student there from Ukraine, not far from this place, and he was studying there for free. Yeah. So do you want to study in such a school for free? Yeah. Do you know how to do this? Some of you know. Okay, so one program which can open the doors of these private boarding schools in the UK is called h &C. Okay? If I were you, I would really write it down. So h &C projects. So one program which is really good and they work with Moldova and they send kids from Moldova to the UK is called h &C projects. It gives students from Central and Eastern Europe an opportunity to study for a year in a British school. So basically you study in Horizon this year, but next year you can spend one year in the UK and then come back to Moldova, okay? Do they work with Moldovans? With Moldova? Yes. Have a look. The HMC project scholars who came in September 2016, somebody came there this September last month, were selected from 14 countries, and one of them is Moldova. Great. So this opportunity is open for you. Did you know about this? No, now you know. Okay. Can we apply for it now too? You have to apply right now. Because like after school, if you have the school break, after the school break will be too late. I will show you how to apply. Do you want to know how to apply? Yes. Okay. So let me show you some pictures. Uh, let me show you some pictures. Oh, so these are the kids. So every year in September you go to the UK and they gather you in one place in Cambridge. So this is Cambridge University. Can you see, can you spot Moldova's flag? Yes. So these kids are Moldovans, okay? These kids are from Ukraine, these kids are probably from Georgia and other countries. And they're going to study in the UK for one year, and they're going to study in a school like this one, okay? Because they don't, in, with, now listen very carefully. With HMC, they don't send you to a public school. They only send you to a very rich private boarding school which has very good facilities, okay? All right. Now, do you want to know how to apply, or do you just want to go home? Okay. So, in order to apply, you need to go on this website, which is called debate.md. Debate.md. This is a Moldovan organization which helps this British organization to select students in Moldova, okay? And it's called Liga Nazionale di Bespati Pri Universitari. So by the way, these three kids, they went to study in the UK and US last year. You see, they're obviously not in Moldova, right? Does it look like Moldova? It's green and beautiful, yeah. And they are holding Moldovan flags, which means that they're probably Russians, right? No, Moldovans. Okay? So, in order to apply, you just click on this button which says... Which says what? Applica. Very good. Alright, and you fill in a form. 
And form is not difficult, really. It's a really easy form. So you have to be you have a class as a child, okay? You need to know English. Do you speak English? Yes. No. Okay. You need to have good average grade, uh, and you just fill in this form. So let's do it right away. Do we have internet connection? Yes. Alexander, have you applied? Almost, like five oh. seconds from Okay, uh, let's do it. So, what is your name? Alexander. Okay. Uh, Alexander, like this? Will you just apply for me? Yeah. Awesome. Alexandra, and your last name is? Uh, Shar Bun. Okay, and your email? It's, uh, can I? Sure, you can do it. Thanks. So you just write your email here. Okay. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And then your home address. Okay. I guess how many people are doing it right now? Oh, the address I live now. Or where Please leave your current home address. Yes, yes. Oh. And you usually in the UK, in the US, you usually start with apartments. Okay? So what is your home address? <laughs> where do you live right now? Right now? Oh, in, in this in this boarding school, in this boarding town. Great. Because I forgot my home address. No, my address. Sorry. I forgot my home address. So she can't apply, but somebody else can. Okay. So you just write here your home address, and then you write here your date of birth, and then your home phone number, mobile phone number, and car report. And then you just choose, okay? So, um, Alexander, if you would be applying, what would be your first choice? A C's, HMC, Davis, or no preference? HMC. Why? Because I want to go to UK and not to the US. And I want to do studying a private school, not a public one. Well, by the way, with assistant Davis, you will also study in a private school, but in America. Um, Really? Yes. It would still be HMC. Still be HMC. So it can be HMC your first choice, it is your second choice, and it is your third choice. Okay? Or the way you want it. No, it doesn't really matter. And I just submit, and that's it. And they receive this information, and they look, oh, okay, Alexandra Charbon? Yeah. She applied, and they invite her for a test, she takes a test, they invite her to fill an application form, that one will be really detailed, with a lot of details, and then an interview, and then that's it. So if you were a student, if they like, if, no, they will be like a test, uh, application form, interview, okay, there will be like several stages, just like with Flex, okay? And then you go, and then you go and you start at one of these amazing, amazing, amazing schools, and believe me or not, this will change your uh, life. Completely. This like life-changing experience, you know, to go abroad, to live abroad, to live alone without your parents, away from your parents. Okay. All right. Um, so, is it clear how you apply for agency? Yes. How many of you are going to apply? How many of you are going to apply? But it sounds like don't have a lot of uh, competition. That's just like three hands. Oh, is good. Yes? Okay, so please feel free to apply. Ah, do you know when the. Now, very important thing, guys. Do you know there is this thing as deadlines? Do you know what deadline is? No? What is deadline? Yeah. So like the final date to which you need to apply. And it doesn't say here, which is very strange, but the deadline is in early November. So basically you need to apply this day. Try to apply in October, if you want to apply, okay? It's really easy, it doesn't take a lot of time. And even if you will be not selected, which can happen, you know? So there is a lot of competition. It will be still a good experience for you to participate in the selection process. 
you know, you will attend an interview, you will talk to your British people, because really, British people come from the UK and interview you here. They meet with them. So it's a very good experience, okay? Um, so again, when the deadline is? End of November. When do you need to apply? Right now. That's good. Good boy. Good boy. What is your name? Nikita. Well done. Okay. <laughs> now, what's the difference between H and C on one hand and Assistant Davis on the other hand? And you just said it, that H and C is UK and Davis and Assistant is the same thing for two years. That's right. That's right. So, here is some information about Assist Scholarship. So, if you're interested, you can stop by and have a look at this amazing school here, and this amazing Moldovan students who are studying there in, the, in that school, and some information about the program, okay? And yes, it's for American private schools. Um, you can always Google this program, okay? And read more about it, okay? Um, And here are students uh, who participated in the CIS program from different countries. You see here uh, Australia, Austria, Bulgaria, it's not far from us. And you see these Moldovan guys, okay? So they want in this scholarship. As you can see, there are not that many scholarships, you know? From Germany, from Germany they took a lot of people. From Moldova they just took only three. Okay? Uh, with these programs like SES, Davis, and HMC, it's not 100% free. It's not a full scholarship, but it is almost full. If you will need to pay something, you probably will need to pay a little bit more than you pay here at Horizonte. But then the value of the scholarship is huge. I told you how much it costs to study one year in those schools. By the way, can you hear me very well there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, very good. Okay. So, uh, we talked about assist. Do you have any questions about assist? No? Any questions about HMC? No. Any questions about Flex? No. Let's now talk about Davis. Now, Davis is another program, another exchange program, and it's also only for 10 4. And you also need to apply, Nikita? Right now. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, but Davis is different, different compared to what like, Flex is like this. Okay? Assist is smaller. No, HMC is smaller. Assist is smaller. Davis is, Davis is really, really, really small. They can give away like only one or two scholarships to Moldova students. Maybe only one per year. That's it. But what is interesting about Davis is that Davis comes from a very rich family. There is a very rich family in the United States, and this family is Davis family. And they just give away a lot of money for people who win in this scholarship. Okay, and guys, I don't know if you have a lot of experience of participating in scholarships. Do you? So I, I did my master's in the UK, in a very good university, and I didn't pay anything. Okay, I had the scholarship and I studied there for free. But what I can tell you is this. Uh, sometimes, uh, the scholarship is full and they cover all your expenses and they just just give you a little bit of money. So they kind of cover your expenses, but you have just enough money for like basic things. But sometimes some sponsors are really generous and they give you a lot of money. Okay? And you can really have interest experience interesting things, do a lot of interesting stuff while you're there, maybe even save some money and come back to Moldova. That's what some people do. Okay? So Davis is one of those programs when if they support you, they support you very well. Okay? So they give you a lot of money. It's a very good scholarship. Okay? Um, okay? Uh, so that's why it's also probably a good idea to participate in this scholarship as well. Okay? Um, so, uh, speaking about this presentation, 
that's basically all. Everything we wanted to tell you guys. You know? There are four programs. There are four programs, four scholarship programs for you. And you just need to apply now and maybe you'll be lucky. Maybe you'll go to the UK or the United States. And if you have never heard about this program, you can come back like next year and say, well, thank you, Vladimir. Thank you, Dr. Sandoval. Thank you for sharing this information with us. Okay. So do you have any questions? No. No. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Sorry, wait a second. I'm coming. Do we apply for these programs at the same time? This is free programs. Yes. Okay. Let me show it to you again. Um, in order to apply for these three programs at the same time, you go to this page, which is debate.media, and you fill in this application, which is really basic. Your name, your surname, your address, uh, your age, and that's it. And then you just choose these three programs. What's your name? Vlad. Vlad. So for example, first choice you say, I want to apply for assist, and then what is, well, why, do, why there is here first choice, second choice, and third choice? Yeah, so it's like your first choice. So you, just in case, if you will be selected for all three programs, they will say, okay, uh, Vlad's first choice was assist, so he is going with assist to the United States. That's what he really wants. And then let's say that you also want a little bit to apply for HMC and don't really want to apply, but you would like to try to apply for Davis. So then Davis will be your third choice, HMC will be your second choice, and ACS will be your first choice. Okay? Great. So you, yes indeed, you're applying for all three programs at the same time, but not for flex. For flex, you need to apply on a separate form, on a separate website. Okay? Any other questions? Go well, think. I give you 30 seconds to think. Maybe you do have some questions. Tatiana, do we have our newsletter with us? Yeah. Can we give it to them? This is nice, guys. Okay, guys. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. So my name is Vladimir. I studied in the UK. I did my master's there. I work in this beautiful school in uh, Merkiston in Edinburgh. Now I'm one of the managers of American Language Center in Wuhan. And at this center, we have a couple of interesting activities which you probably will be interested in, okay? A couple of interesting uh, opportunities. The first one, the first interesting opportunity is this. Okay? So, at American Language Center Buyukai, yeah, let me take your coffee each and let me know when you're ready. Um, okay, so at American Language Center Buyukai, we recently opened the first writing center in Moldova. And this project was supported by U.S. Embassy in Moldova and U.S. State Department from the United States. So they basically gave us the grant for developing the writing center. Now, I know that you're sitting and you're thinking, well, what is writing center and how I can benefit from it? So, can anybody answer this question? Do anybody know what, what an academic writing center is? Any ideas? It's like writing letters, business letters, uh, applications for political and different 
programs and like you know we usually write for some programs the application state and this is what is all about. Well, in a way yes, but let me give you one idea. Every, every, absolutely every good university in Western Europe and in America has a writing center. So Harvard University, Oxford University, give me any example of any good university. Cambridge. Cambridge. They have an academic writing center in their university. Sometimes they call it differently, sometimes they call it center of applied linguistics, for example, but it's still the same thing. So what do they do this? Oh, before you ask you this question, guess how many universities in Kishinev in Moldova have an academic writing center? Zero. None of them. None of them. He says ALC is the first one. Sure. You're very smart, Alexander. So yes, ALC is the first one. So no university in Moldova has a writing center. But if there would be a writing center in your school or in the university, how would you be able to benefit from this uh, center? How students at Cambridge University, how do they benefit from uh, an academic writing center? So imagine you're a student at Cambridge University and you're working on a paper. What happens then? Uh, you have some problems. Yeah. Tell, tell me, tell me how it works. Uh, when, when we write something like an essay or a paper, it will, you, you know, the usual problems about the structure, what words to use, how to write correctly, to know everything about grammar, what you can know, and not about grammar, as you said, linguistics. I guess that's all about, like, the writing center. That's right. So you have a problem and you come with your paper to experts of this academic writing center and they help you. They just read your text, read your essay and correct mistakes and make some comments and tell you you need to rewrite this, you need to change this, you need to change that. And then you go and improve your writing and write another one, another one, another one. And then eventually you send this to your to a company where you apply for a job or to university and they accept you or you send it to a sponsor and they give you a grant or a scholarship. Like all, all this is done in writing today. Okay? So, guys, you're probably going to apply for different exchange programs, right? And you're probably going to write some motivation letters, some essays, right? Yes, okay. Do you know how to write a motivation letter? Yes. Do you need any help with that? Yes. Okay, so just in case you need any help, the idea is this. You bring this asset to us, or you send it to this email address, which is alcpuyukan.writing at gmail.com. And we check it, review it, edit it, and send it back to you for free. So you don't need to pay anything because all the costs were already covered by US Embassy. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. And this is also, it's not only for high school students, Nikita. It's also for university professors who are writing some papers or articles in English. They can also come to this writing center and we will help them. Okay? So this is one thing which we have there for you and it's free of charge and you can take it. Okay? Now another thing, have a look. Can you flip the page? Here you see our newsletter. In our newsletter, you see the list of things, the list of events we organize at ALC Buyukai. All these events are free of charge, okay? And they're all uh, led by Americans. As you can see, every Tuesday and every Thursday at 6 p.m., we have a movie night. We watch an interesting movie in English, with English subtitles, with free Coca-Cola and free popcorn. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. And after the movie, we discuss it in English.
English with our uh, friend from California. His name is Tony. So Tony works right now for Disney Channel, and he's in Moldova for a short period of time. So he really chooses interesting movies to watch, and he organizes very interesting discussions. So it's a good opportunity for you to come, have some fun, and improve your English. Practice your speaking skills. Then every Saturday at 12 o'clock, we have a book club with Will Dixon. And I don't want to say anything about book club with Will Dixon. I just want to invite here to this stage one of the regular comers to the book club and I will ask her to tell uh, you everything she thinks about the book club. Can you do that? Yes, thank you. Um, book club is, I think it was the best event during uh, my whole summer. Uh, of course, it wasn't the whole summer, it was only June, but uh, I, I think it was great. The um, best opportunity was to talk with uh, Mr. Will Dixon, because he's a great guy, I really love him. And, um, well, what we do there is we read texts that are sent to our Facebook page, to ALC Burgheim, and uh, we read it during the week. It's usually a small text, it's three pages or three to ten, something like that. And, well, after that we come there and we discuss it. We literally do a great revision, we do the analysis, and it's very interesting. We talk with the native speaker, the English speaker, and we have a really great time. It's a good way to find new friends and to talk with English speakers. So, uh, I'd like to really thank you for this experience. So, yeah, it's great. You're welcome, thank you very much. Thank you, Alexandra. So, Will Dixon is coming from uh, the United States, from Boston, Massachusetts, and his degree is in literature. So, he is very good at literature, very good at picking the stories and discussing them. And again, it's a good opportunity for you to practice in English, okay? Then, another thing, guys, uh, we also would like to ask you to rate our page on Facebook, which is American Language Center for Your Kind. You can like our page and review it, okay? And just for your time, if you do that, we can always give you a drink for free. So you can stop by at our office and say, well, hey, I reviewed your page. I give you a five star, four star, three star, two star, one star, and we give you a drink. Okay? Um, that's, that's what we have for you uh, when we speak about events. Okay? Now, uh, I would also would like to encourage you to become friends with us, because friends with us on Facebook, because the best way to know which movie we are watching or which book we are reading is by looking at our Facebook page. Okay, so become friends with us and give us a like on Facebook. So, so far guys, I told you about the first rating center in Moldova. I told you about all the events we have. And there is one more thing, one more thing. Do you guys know what I personally do every Wednesday at 1.30? So every Wednesday, is it Wednesday today? Yeah. Yes. So every Wednesday at 1.30, do you know what I do? No. Can you try to guess? No? No. Actually, I... <laughs> And I just sit like this in a chair and wait. Okay? And can you guess where I sit? Huh? Okay. I sit in Donald Said's office. Okay? In your school here. In, in that building, right? Okay? So we have agreement with Horizon by seeing that if you guys need any help with writing, TOEFL, IELTS, exchange programs, application letters, motivation statements, I come here, I and one of my colleagues who come here every Wednesday at 1.30 and stay in Domo Saeed's office and just to talk to. Some some of you come, you have questions, well, we discuss them, we write emails, we try to connect with other people who can help you to find scholarship, to find universities, to find exchange programs. So we do it every Wednesday, and we're going to do it today. 
And it's surprising to me that none of you knew about this, because we put this advertisement in your school, in the corridor, you just need to read it sometimes. Nobody reads it, okay. That's why I'm telling you. So, if you have any questions related to scholarships or universities or exchange programs, feel free to stop by at 1.30 today or at 1.30 next Wednesday after the break, and we'll be happy to help you, okay? <laughs> So next week is a vacation, right? We're not coming here next week, but the week after that, I'll be here again. All right? So it's another free opportunity for you. And also, if you need to improve your English or to prepare for TOEFL or to prepare for IELTS, feel free to stop by and talk to us. Here is the map. On this business card, on the other side, there is a map, which you can use to find us easily, OK? So. Guys, we discussed four exchange programs today. We talked about our writing center. We talked about the events with native speakers which we have in our school. Do you have any questions? Yes. One second, please. Uh, you have also center, uh, center. Yes. So I wanted to ask, do you have all these programs there? Also. Let me answer this question. So these events, which I showed to you, two movie nights and one book club, they all happen. There must be an address here somewhere. They all happen on. Shreis Presidential Baradoy, your Grande Street, Kishinev, and here is the phone number, and here is the map. At Central Office, at the American Language Center, at the American Language Center, Central Office on Kagunichano Street, 81, they also do have some events. They have some, some events with native speakers on Saturdays, I think. But I don't know all the details, but to my knowledge, they're not free. You need to pay like 320 lei per week or per month to attend those events. But you can always call them. You can always call them at uh, 225860. Okay, that's their phone number. 225860, and just ask them. And they will let you know. Okay? So we are located in Buyukai, so I just was talking about the projects we have in Buyukai. They also have interesting stuff. By the way, they are running the FLEX program. So if you have any questions about FLEX, also call the same number. Okay? Thank you for this question. Are you going to come to the movie night? Yes. Yes. So look, tomorrow, uh, every Tuesday, we are watching a normal Hollywood movie. Every Thursday we're watching a documentary movie. Okay? So last week we watched a documentary about wine, wine making. We even tasted some wine, but if you're too young you're not allowed to do that. But this week we're watching a documentary about um, we're watching a documentary about which is called The Truth About Lies. How we lie, you know, when we're not saying truth. How does it work? So it's a very interesting documentary. Feel free to stop by. I wish you all the best and have a nice day. And maybe see you today at 1.30. Bye-bye.